Breaking news now. A man is recovering after being shot in front of his girlfriend and three children. The man who pulled the trigger, though, is still on the run. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy at Vanderbilt Medical Center, and that's where the man is being treated this morning. And Dan, I just can't help but think, I mean, I'm sorry the man was hurt, but it's lucky these kids weren't injured. Yeah, doctors working to save this man's life, and they think he's going to be okay behind me at Vanderbilt. But you're right, Amy. There were three children inside that car who witnessed this all go down. They're between the ages of 8 and 15. All three kids and their mother, the victim's significant other, expected to be okay. But still, some frightening moments that they witnessed last night. The man in the front seat of that car being shot twice. All this happened on Bishopsgate Road about 1140 last night is when police got the call out there. The man tells police he had just pulled into his driveway. They were getting ready to go inside. When a car pulled up behind his, the gunman got out and fired two shots at him uh, through the window. He was hit both times, and then the gunman left. And that's when this man drove away, too. He didn't want to wait around in his driveway, so he went to another home just a few streets over where they called 911. Police arrived. Detectives were there speaking with the children, with the woman who was in the car, with any other potential eyewitnesses, trying to piece this together. And the big question detectives are asking themselves this morning, was this random or targeted? They simply do not know at this time. That is one thing they're working through. What they do know is that this man is expected to be okay and that they are looking for a suspect. The gunman this morning described leaving in a car uh, as a silver or gold four-door car with tinted windows and a moonroof. And by the way, all this happened in the same neighborhood where two 16-year-olds were killed just this past weekend. In fact, it happened just a few houses away from that. More details on newschannel5.com as we get them, including updates on the man's condition. Reporting live this morning from Vanderbilt, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5.